Welcome to Hee Haw, I mean e-learning. It's been five weeks since our quarantine started and came the day we had to stay home. And your kind smile I've missed since we parted, but you miss my tie flips a thousand times more. Where, oh where are you today? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found students, but they closed the school and pff, we was home. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you were at least six feet back when we were singing that song. That song could get you, and so make sure you, you sing that song. You need to social distance for sure. But when I was young, I always loved Hee Haw, and maybe you don't know what Hee Haw is, but your parents probably know, and for sure your grandparents know. In fact, I have a couple pictures for you. When I was little, I found this picture at my parents' house. There's Mr. Nison. And he thought he was tough. He had his fire hat on. He was riding his big wheel. And if you look closely, he has hee-haw overalls. You can see the hee. You can even see the haw upside down on part of that. But those hee-haw, I love those hee-haw overalls. But I was one tough dude back then. And then I also, since we're being a little nostalgic, I found a picture from Christmas. Here's Mr. Nice in Christmas morning getting Batman and Robin. And who would know that years later that he would, Mr. Nice would grow up to be math man chasing down his students who don't do their e-learning. And so make sure you get that done. But I love those Batman and Robin toys also. But if you really want to see one cute dude, it's this next picture right here. This is Mr. Nison at age three. And so, yep, I have, to, I have to say he's pretty cute, if I say so myself. Do you see a resemblance? Maybe no glasses? Do I look the same? And so, hey, well, welcome back to this Wednesday. And we want to make sure that everybody has everything they need. And so hopefully you're on the school website and you've already filled in the attendance form and so we'll give you a second to fill in the attendance form and you fill it in and then we'll be right back so you pause the video fill it in and come right back hey so let's see what we have for merge today i just have and let's scroll on down you can either the seventh grade one if you're in seventh grade or if you're in sixth grade or if you're in eighth grade Make sure that you click on the video for the lesson. This turns blue after this video gets posted. And I will show you exactly how to do the problems and walk through them. Watch the video first and then do the problems. It should be easy. And then go back since you got it done so fast. Then go back and do one of the old ones and I will get Power School Update and you'll get the better grades and all will be good. And plus, we, we're for these days and merge, we're going to hit the highlights. We're going to hit the foundations, the fundamentals of math. So going in next year, you will be ready for what you have to do. And so we're going to build your confidence up a little bit. And so what we want to do is if you click on the Khan Academy, the new assignment today is called Exponents Basic. And you click on that. And we're just going to do, and it's going to say, what's one squared? Of course, you could just type it in. What's one squared? But remember, is one squared one times two or is it one times one? What is it? Eta. One times one. Good job. And so that'll be one times one. And then that is a one. So great. And so we just type that in here. And we'll see. We got a one. Maybe I'll put myself down in this corner. Oh, the teacher sent me to the corner. I'm so sad. And so here we go. Woohoo! Got it right. Woohoo! Yahoo! And so let's do the next one. It says, what's 2 to the 4th? Now, does that mean 2 times 4? Or does that mean 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Kylie. It means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2, Summer, 16. Let's see if you're right. 
And so Summer says 16. She likes to do these problems fast, but just slow down, watch the video first. And we get 16. And now, a little tougher one. I need to match these up with their answers. And so which one means what? What does 3 to the 4th mean? What does 4 to the 3rd mean? And what does 3 to the 3rd mean? These do not mean the same thing. They are different. And so 3 to the 4th, does that mean 4 3s or 3 4s? That means I have the number 3 taken 4 times. When you have 4 cubed, that means you have the number 4 taken 3 times. And when you have 3 cubed, you have the number 3 taken 3 times. Well, let's see if I can match up these answers. 3 to the 4th would be that one. 4 cubed would be that one. And this one, they actually multiplied out. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 times 3 is 27. Good job. And so we have that. Next question. What is 11 squared? Don't just hit the hint. They count it wrong. And so, Cooper, what's 11 squared? Is it 11 times 2 or is it 11 times 11? It's 11 times 11. Good job, Cooper. And what is 11 times 11? It's 121 palindrome. Boom, hit your neighbor. That one's a palindrome. And so, let's see if we get this right. Woohoo! Next one. Write an expression using an exponent. So, don't write the answer. It says write the problem and use an exponent. And so I'm just going to click on this and see what happens. Oh, it gives me little choices. So I hit the 8, and then I hit the little exponent button, and I hit a 4. And so I could do 8 times 8 is 64, times 8 is 512, and 512 times 8 is 4096. But they don't want that. They said write a problem with an exponent. And so got it. We're 5 for 5. Sakes alive. And what's zero to the fourth? Would that be zero times zero times zero times zero? Would that be a zero or a four? Maddie, what do you get? That would be zero, my hero. And so that'd be a zero. And we type that one in. Great job. And then two to the fifth. Is two to the fifth 10? Jocelyn? Two to the fifth? Don't just pick the first number that comes to mind. Oh, yes, Jocelyn, you're right. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. And so we get 32. And woohoo! Once again, time me. How long that take? Take a little bit of time. Do those problems. Get the brain going and all be good. And if you miss a couple, you can always redo it. You're going to get some of the exact problems I just did. And so rewind the video. And oh, yeah, the answer was 32. How did I miss that one? And so you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. And email me and do the old ones and redo them so you get a better grade. Even though it says late, it's not really late. Just click on them. Try one. I'm telling. It's like, oh, he's redoing them. Oh, she redid them. I'm so proud. Good job, Carissa. And so make sure I'm watching. Make sure we get all this stuff, okay? You guys have a good Wednesday, and we'll see you later.